Hi, my name is Eric Bayer. I'm a technology specialist with Landmark Implement. We're excited to offer performance upgrade kits from John Deere. So in the past, um, they were a little bit different, but Deere has, has changed the way they do these kits. Um, and so now they, they offer more um, and are easier to, to install. So um, I'm gonna talk about what, what the kit includes, um, talk about some of the benefits. Um, we'll talk about the uh, um, compatible options. Um, and then go through some of the options that you can order for these kits. So uh, performance upgrade kits, what they are is where we take your existing bar and we put new technology on it. So what we would do on your planner, we'd take off your old row units and we would, uh, we would put on brand new row units from near. So that would allow you to go to either exact merge or a, a max merge 5e. So this is an exact merge row unit. Um, so this is a high speed, high precision uh, meter. Um, has a seed bowl, uh, which, which would allow a, a bigger seed pool, which uh, aids as we go faster, eight, 10 mile an hour. So um, this is an option uh, as a performance upgrade kit. Um, a 5E, so this is a 5E row unit. So. You notice we've got a controller and we've got uh, the electric motor. So both planners are gonna be electric drive. So the upside of, of an electric drive um, is curve compensation. So uh, as you go around uh, a turn, your outside rows are, they're not planting the same uh, population or spacing as they are the inside. So curve compensation is, is an industry exclusive and uh, that allows each individual row to uh, meter out its own specific rate so that you are getting the same rate across the, the width of your planner. Um, with Exact Emerge, it has the brush belt. So that seed is traveling all the way down and it's being put right in the trench, um, giving it a higher precision than, uh, than the 5E. Um, so the 5E is, is good to about five mile an hour, just like your, your previous max merge five row units, um, versus the exact merge where you can go a higher speed um, with even more precision. So uh, when we talk about these upgrade kits, these are the two row units that are available. So when we do these kits, what we basically do, we pull off um, the seed star harness off of your old planner, we would take off that, we would take off the controllers, um, we would take off um, the variable rate drives, ground drives if you've got them, all that would come off and we would put on new harnessing and we would put on uh, new controllers. Um, Deer also comes and they give you a, a new serial number. So in Deer's eyes, it's, it's not the same planner you had before. So we basically remodel your whole planner and give you new technology um, on your old bar. So, um, brand new row unit, the, the row unit comes complete. Um, so this is a great fit for guys that have uh, an older planner uh, that's maybe wore out. Um, and for a guy that, that wants to go to new technology but isn't ready to swing a, a new planner price. So, um, we'll go over some of the, uh, the options that are available when you order these. Okay, so let's first talk about uh, models that are compatible uh, to have these performance upgrade kits. So first off, our, our non-CCS Deer planners. Um, we've got our 17, 20s, and 25s, um, as well as a list of, a, I would say, less common, but 1,700 planners, 1,730s, uh, 1,750s, 60s, um, and seven, uh, 1,780s. So... Um, these are the kits that Deer has readily available um, without going through a, a custom option. Uh, Deer Bauer planners. Um, these are the models of the, the Deer Bauer planners that, that, that uh, are retrofitable. All right, so our CCS planners, um, we certainly have a lot of these in our area, um, but our 1720s, uh, our 1770s, uh, maybe further down south than our 1790s. So all these back to, to model year 2005, we can, we can put these kits on. Um, if your planner is not in that list, uh, there is an option to do a custom uh, 
custom performance upgrade kit. So we would um, look at your planner and we would put in a, uh, a form with deer. And um, so even though you might not see your planner, it's, it still might be doable. So talk with your, uh, your local CTS to see your options. So I wanted to talk through the different options uh, that you can order when we do these performance upgrade kits. So um, they do come uh, with, uh, with new U-bolts. So basically everything from here um, the row unit itself uh, are gonna be are gonna be new so from here um, uh, as far as orderable options uh, first uh, let's talk about the downforce so um, in customers that have run them uh, the biggest advantage uh, that they've seen as far as as planner uh, components is is the IRHD so as we go through the field um, everything is so different and to be able to instantaneously change our downforce uh, to meet those soil conditions uh, on a per row basis, um, that's where guys see the biggest advantage and in, in the, in the biggest return. So um, emergence uh, comes to mind and, and because we can do that quickly up to five times a second with the IRHD. So um, that's an option you can order. So when we physically go to put it in, um, uh, these already come mounted to the row unit, but we would add our hoses and then there would be a valve block uh, that we would add. And then there would be a separate set of SCVs, uh, hoses that would run up to your SCVs. So um, this is probably the biggest advantage right here. So there is also a, an active pneumatic option. Um, so if you're not ready to make that jump or, or save a little bit of money, um, there's the option to go to an active pneumatic. So. If you're doing that, if you're going from a set point pneumatic to an active, we would need to add a, a, a hydraulic tank that would go in the back of your planter um, that would be able to supply enough air to, to keep up with the uh, with the sensors and what the, the planter's doing. So um, we would add that and uh, would tie in hydraulics to the, uh, basically the CCS or the fan system. That's how we would get hydraulics. We wouldn't have to run um, a new line just for the, um, just for the, the air compressor. So um, those are our downforce options um, when we talk about these performance upgrade kits. Um, you can either order short or long arm um, arms for your planner. Um, we've talked about the different uh, meters that you can order. Um, as we go further down, um, and again, this is a great option for a guy whose planners you've already got stuff to to replace that's war. Um, so we can have our true V's, brand new true V's, um, our gauge wheels. Um, so you can either get the, the normal uh, solid gauge wheels or you can do this spoked uh, option. Um, the guys that have ordered this, they really like it. Um, it's easier to clean out mud, um, stocks that get stuck in or that sort of thing. So. Just know it's it's a little bit more money, but that is an orderable option that comes in pre-assembled from deer. So, um, row cleaners. So this one um, particular customer didn't order row cleaners, but there is an option to do pneumatic row cleaners. So from your display, you could adjust um, how much uh, pressure basically goes to, to cleaning those rows. Um, for customers and, and rolling hills and lots of terrain, that that could be a really good option for you. So just know that is an option. Um, as we move back, uh, there is an option to do uh, pneumatic closing wheels. So um, again, from the cab, we have the, the option to adjust these. So this is how it comes. Um, you'd have to put these on, but uh, it comes with the kit. So it's pretty easy. There's gonna be your, your two bolts here. Um, they would meet up with your, your bolts underneath there. So it's nice deer uh, fits these hoses through the row unit. So it's, it's already in there and you, you don't have to go and fish your, your airline through. But, um, so if you do order those pneumatic options, uh, we would obviously have to add some airlines um, that go back to your tank. So um, we do recommend if you do have these uh, either pneumatic openers or closers um, to get the hydraulic tank um, so that it has the capacity and so that the system um, it integrates seamlessly with uh, with the options so 
Um, there is an option uh, as we talk about technology. You can either order these uh, performance upgrade kits with a Seed Star 3 or a Seed Star 4. So, um, advantages to a Seed Star 4 over a Seed Star 3. Um, Seed Star 4 has to run through a Gen 4 display. Um, Seed Star 3 can either run through a 2630 or a, uh, a 4600 or 4640. So, um, the Gen 4s, um, they're more intuitive. You can see a little higher uh, level of detail, um, a lot less button pushes. Uh, we have the option to add an extended monitor, which a lot of guys like because they'll have their guidance up on the, on the corner post and then they'll have their planner specific functions on the armrest. So there's a lot more options. Um, certainly the user experience is a whole lot better with Gen 4s. Um, but it, if you have a Seed Star 2 now and are going to a Seed Star 3 and you want to use your 2630, that certainly is an option. Um, there's certainly a lot more detail and um, information that you can view in the Seed Star 3 versus the Seed Star 2. Um, but again, that's, that's just an option. So um, with each kit, uh, we order these kits and it comes in base price. Um, there's the option uh, to add the, uh, the the connectivity option is what we call it. So that puts a wireless data server on your planner. Um, that basically allows you to, it, it creates a Wi-Fi hotspot pretty much that you can connect your phone and your iPad to. There's two apps um, that we can use um, with the connected option. So connect mobile. Um, this um, basically is a high definition mapping that you can use on your iPad. So it does require an iPad, um, but it connects to your planner directly. Um, and we can see all sorts of high detailed um, mapping. So if we go over here, just so you can kind of see what we can view, we have actual population target, um, seed spacing. So if your CV value is under 0.3, uh, we know that we're not gonna lose yield as a result so downforce uh, so if we wanted to go and see well right here this is a, a ride quality map um, so right here we're looking at percentage on our ride quality so um, it's pretty easy to see exactly what's going on and and troubleshoot spots um, that you previously wouldn't be able to see so this is a very uh, high detailed uh, mapping tool that uh, again it comes base in, in all of the performance upgrade kits. The other app um, that allows us to use is the Planner Plus app. Um, so what this allows us to do, if we go back, um, that allows us to do a either a meter diagnostics or a planner runoff. So just to kind of show you um, so suppose uh, we're getting ready to plant um, and there's a particular row unit where maybe the rate's just a little bit off. Um, we can go back, we hook up our phone um, or our iPad to the planner and come here to this tool and tell it we want to do 30,000 seeds per acre and I want to see what the vacuum is. So uh, we would kick on our vacs um, and it hands control over to our, uh, our device. We swipe to start and then our row unit um, it starts turning so we can look at uh, our singulation multiple skips um, and we can also see um, further down we can see our our meter speed so we can compare row one to row two and and use that as a diagnostics tool to see exactly what's going on um, before, uh, to get this level of information, you'd have to take your row or your meter off and, and take it into the store and have them run it on a test stand. Um, with the new technology, we can hook our phone up um, and we can do that right back at the planner without even um, having to take anything off, um, which is a fantastic diagnostics tool. So if you order um, your performance upgrade kit with the pneumatic, um, uh, closing wheels you do have the option to add uh, closing wheels themselves so if you don't order uh, the pneumatic closing wheels the kits do not come 
with the the a-frame or the closing wheel assemblies so um, if you don't order the, the pneumatic option um, you would take your old uh, closing wheel assemblies and you'd put them onto the new row units that's that's one of the things that um, if you order the option it has it if you don't you got to use the old ones off of your old planner but um, if you do order um, the pneumatics you have the option to do a, just a regular rubber closing wheel like like most people have um, or there's an option for a cast uh, closing wheel as well. Okay, so just to show you, this is what uh, uh, a performance kit looks like when it arrives. So of course those big boxes are the row units, um, two row units per pallet like I showed you. Um, and then there's, there's about roughly a pallet for every row number wise um, for what shows up. Uh, with that kit and as landmark we're putting together a a conversion for 1720s or 25s um, that want to go from a box planner to a ccs so um, roughly what the kit includes um, we're going to custom make some brackets um, and basically add the the tank itself the brackets and then uh, all the harnessing that would go into your your uh, your other harnesses as though as it was a a CCS planner from the factory. So um, here are some of the CAD drawings for what it's going to look like. So a performance upgrade kit, um, we get the new technology um, at, a, at a much lower cost. So um, if you have questions um, about your planner, uh, talk to your local CTS. Um, and we'd love to go through your planner with you um, and talk specifically more about um, the new technology that you can put on your planner.